In this video, the assembly of the axial pump is demonstrated. The spiral gear, seal bearing, and conical bearing on the crank are mounted using press tools. The crankshaft with a milled end is placed on a flat surface with the end facing down. The points on the spiral gear and the points on the cylinder are identified. Pistons are placed into their slots and checked to ensure they are functioning correctly. The pistons are installed into the cylinder one by one. The balance shaft is placed into the crank. The cylinder and spiral gear points are aligned carefully without lowering the balance shaft. And the cylinder is placed into the crank with the pistons remaining intact. It is then rotated around its axis for inspection. If the points do not align, the pump will not function and could damage the pistons. Please be careful. The O-ring of the cover is greased and seated into its groove. The cover gasket is installed. The gasket is used to adjust the gap between the cylinder and the spiral gear. The prepared cylinder, crank, and pistons are assembled onto the cover and rotated around their axis for inspection. The body is carefully assembled. The pump direction is determined here. The pump you see is being assembled for right-hand rotation. Four bolts are tightened without causing any distortion. Then, oil seals are installed using tools. The first seal to be installed should be oriented with its front side facing inward. The seal is followed by the internal segment. It is important that this segment fits perfectly into the channel and that the open side aligns with the oil warning hole. When installing the bearing, the channel is brought to the outside and secured with tools for easy removal. Here, the alignment and gap of the cylinder and spiral gear are checked. The air vent plug and plastic plugs are installed, completing the assembly process. Thank you for watching.